Guys, it's Sunday afternoon. It's a little bit later in the day. You know me, by the time I get out, it's like, where'd the day go? But, you know, and there's some people here, you know? Um, I am not saying it's not crowded. Um, decent amount of people, but it's kind of like everyone's spread out. And that seems to be the case for me, from what I noticed is that the beach is down here because they're kind of all connected and we have all these bridges that come across. And I'll get into that in a minute. But, um, you know, within reason, um, the beaches on this coast don't really seem to get to the point where they feel like you don't want to be there because there's too many people. Um, it seems, you know, there's plenty of room. I mean, even earlier in the day, it probably wouldn't have been that much more crowded than this. And you still would have had ample room to spread out and sit pretty much where you wanted to sit. So. Because um, a lot of you guys, we always talk about the differences between the East Coast and the West Coast, or the Gulf Coast, as it were. And, um, you know, both have their advantages and both have their, you know, not really many, but there are some disadvantages, I guess, to each side. You know, we, we have more waves here, um, it, just as one example. But I guess I'm not the expert on the West Coast by any means. I've traveled there many times, but... Um, you know, I'm not there on a daily basis. I don't live there. I've never lived there, so I'm gonna ponder the, oh, by the way, this is a, uh, we were talking about critters. This is a Portuguese man of war. It's a small one, but. Yeah, you don't wanna step on those because they have poisonous tentacles. Ugly sucker too, ain't it? I mean, that is ugly as a palmetto bug, but nonetheless, pretty hideous. So I'm just wondering, guys, Help me out on this, you folks that are already down here and on the Gulf Coast. How do your beaches compare in terms of access to the beach, finding your parking spot, and even crowds on the beach? Because I've seen videos, guys. I mean, I was there and I saw, you know, a decent amount of people when I was in, uh, let's see, I was in most recently, that would have been um, Clearwater Beach that I was on. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, by the way. But um, I had a difficult time getting a spot where I came in from. Wasn't, it was a little stressful. It was a little stressful. So chime in if you have some comments in terms of the best way to avoid that and what I could have done better for the next time I go back. Watch out for the uh, fishing rod. Catch anything? What are we eating? Shrimp? <laughs> That's the bait! Yeah, to cook up the bait! Alright, we got at least we got at least to save some. No, it's, I'm I'm a vlogger on YouTube. It's for people that are moving to Florida from out of state that want to get an idea of what it's like down here. All kinds of shit. It's what? Uh hopefully a turn on. I hope so. I don't know, you be the judge. How do you get paid? I don't make that much money. They were fun. That was just more than a 10 minute conversation I just had with these lovely folks that I actually didn't record, so I should have. Unedited and raw, and here I am editing out the best part. But I really would like to hear from you guys with expertise on the West Coast in terms of what beach life is like over there. But I, all I can tell you is my experience on this side and the few experiences I've had on the Gulf Coast is that access to the beach here, guys, is really easy because we have a bunch of bridges that come over. Just between Pompano Beach, which is in, you know, Broward County, and like, let's say Del Rey, I could count how many bridges there are. There's Atlantic Boulevard Bridge, there's the 17th Street, or was it the 14th Street? Causeway. 14th Street Causeway. I always get those confused. And then you got um, Camino and Boca. That goes over. Uh, Palmetto Park Road. That goes over. Um, you could, and then you could, and then you go up to Spanish River, which is what I always come the bridge I just walked over. Atlantic Boulevard and Del Rey, and on and on and on. There's so many bridges that go over the intercoastal to take you here to choose from just in those just in those three cities i can i forgot i forgot deerfield deerfield which is north of pompano has hillsborough boulevard so a ton of access to get over the waterway onto the barrier islands to take you to the beach 
okay? When I went to Clearwater, I remember, you know, it's like I, the bridge I had to, just going to the one bridge that I went over, um, and God, I think, isn't that bridge a toll bridge too? But it was backed up. I was, I was sitting in my car waiting to get over that bridge. And the bridge wasn't, it wasn't like it was an ex, a, um, a drawbridge that was open. It was just traffic to get over the bridge. Listen, I love the Gulf Coast guys. Don't get me wrong. This is not about, you know, trying to give a dig to the Gulf Coast and saying it's so much better over here because, I mean, I think your beaches are nicer than ours. I mean, it's, it's not even an opinion thing. It's, you know, you could Google the world's best beaches and you're gonna get quite a few Gulf Coast beaches that come up there. So, I, I'm with you on that. Whoa. Get right by me there. You see, we got these dog beaches here too, so dogs are able to run loose here. Right, right on this beach here in Spanish River, they call it Bark Beach. So um, you saw some of the dogs when I came right onto the beach. Um, you know, usually they stay in that area, but I mean, nobody's gonna bother you. Looks like a bunch of those are washing up here. And by the way, that may be a disadvantage on this side. I don't know what the situation is with the Portuguese man of war on the Gulf Coast, but you know, we, we have a season of them here and they wash up. Uh, so you gotta watch where you're stepping. And if you're swimming, God forbid, one of those things grabs you, brushes its tentacles on you, you're gonna feel that. So let me know, comment below. Again, I'm, I love both coasts and I think both of them have their own distinctive, um, character which is great and which is why i like to go visiting the gulf coast as often as i can but you know how difficult is it to get to the beach what's it like i'm really curious to know maybe you guys have some pictures you can share of some of your uncluttered beaches you know again i mean i guess we could make the point by driving down to miami and you know going down there and showing some of the more crowded beaches that maybe are apples to apples with the clear waters and the St. Pete's and some of the more popular beaches. I'd really like to know what's the best way to get to the beaches on the Gulf Coast and which beaches that are closer to the major cities are less populated. In the final analysis, what really matters is that you're close to a beach, you have access, and you can get out there and enjoy the beautiful Florida weather Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this premiere episode of Raw 10 Minutes with Barefoot. It doesn't matter which coast you pick, just as long as you pick one of them. <laughs>